Hey, sup? I'd love to watch you build all day, but Minecraft Pro is attacking everyone on the server right now. He's taking over. Someone needs to put a stop to this quickly. And the only way to do that is by finding 10 ways to do the most damage in Minecraft. That's right, I want you to bust out all the stops. Find out which weapon or block can truly deal the most hearts of damage by combining them all and trying out some really crazy strats. Let's get into it, sub. Number one, harming spam. While you're probably expecting us to start with a sword, you'll find that no blade ever even appears in this list. Crazy, right, Sub? There are way more damage-dealing items out there than you may have first thought. Take potions, for example. While many of them have positive effects that can boost and buff you during gameplay, there are also many with negative effects. These are mostly supposed to be used to attack other people. It would be pointless poisoning or damaging yourself after all. Crafting a harming potion into a splash, or even lingering version will allow you to shoot it at close range towards your foes. We can do one better than that, though. How about a harming two splash potion? Each splash can deal up to 12 damage, and so all it takes is a small stack of these things, and some good aim, and you'll be able to take out Pro pretty quickly. Number two, the perfect critical. If potion brewing isn't your forte, we could start looking at tools to use as weapons. Not the sword, though. Remember, no swords today, sub. Number two will actually be using an axe. Axes may have a slower swing, but they pack more damage per hit. And so it would make sense that in a battle, where every hit counts, you'd want the axe on your side. But what's the best axe? Well, it's netherite, of course. But as usual, we can go a step up from there. Netherite axes can be enchanted with up to level 5 sharpness to deal even more damage. And what about strength potions? We could stack not just a regular strength, but a strength 2 potion on top of all that. Think we're ready for a hit? Not yet, because you're not just going in for a regular swing. You're going in for a critical. By jumping and landing as you hit your target, Target. This boost, plus the sharpness and the strength, can get your damage output for a single swing all the way up to 27 points of damage. Ouch! That's a real high damage number. But I know something that's stacking just a little higher than that. It's our subscriber count. We just hit 1 million subscribers. But Studio says a large majority of the people watching still aren't subscribed. So I'm here to give you a reminder. Slap that red button and join subs world today hey sub make sure to check out the link in the description to buy mine coins for minecraft bedrock edition from g2a number three ultimate shot Maybe close quarters combat is not the thing for you either. If Pro is in a hard to reach place, or still has the high ground, then maybe a ranged weapon might be a better choice for you, sub. Bows are pretty casual, and while normal arrows do have a decent amount of damage, we can do way better. Remember that arrows can have different tips, with similar effects to potions. Let's take a harming two arrows, for instance. Next, bows can be enchanted like other tools. Five levels of the power enchant can be applied to boost damage even more. Finally, consume that almighty strength 2 potion just to be safe. Unfortunately in Minecraft, there's no body part indicators, so you can't get a headshot. But there is a chance for a critical hit when you shoot someone. Meaning if you're lucky, one harming arrow from this bow could do not just 32 average damage, but potentially upwards of 35. That's basically lights out. Good job you're a sharpshooter, suck. Number 4. The Anvil Classic Maybe we should just back up for a moment. If you can't outmatch Pro in combat, maybe because he has super OP enchanted armor, or is just really good at fighting, then consider using some dirty tactics. 
After all, there's more than just tools that deal damage in Minecraft. Take the good old iron anvil for one. When this workbench type lock first released, everyone was going crazy over how dropping it causes damage. But pranks involving these have seemingly all gone out of fashion. Perhaps we should reinvigorate Minecraft Pro's love for anvils by setting up a trap outside his house. Just wire up a pressure plate or wait until the perfect moment. Maybe when he's AFK and then drop it. Smack! Nicely done, Sub. The execution was 10 out of 10. If high enough and in the right position, anvils can actually cause 40 points of damage. Certain death for any defenseless player. And if they have armor, now they're majorly weakened. Number 5. Explosive Times Okay, okay, Sub. I knew you'd want to do this one eventually. I mean, TNT is on everybody's mind, right? It's explosive, it's quick, and it packs a huge punch. And if you were planning to use this TNT to defeat Minecraft Pro, then yes, Sub, you'd be technically right. But what if I told you that there's a better way to go about this? The key to major TNT damage is volume. The more TNT, the more explosive the chain reaction, and the more likely for the player to take consistent explosion damage. Wiring up a room with multiple TNT dispensers would be the way to go. Then you just have to lure Minecraft Pro in and just hope he hasn't trained to survive the equivalent of an atom bomb. Maybe he can survive, though. In that case, look no further than the nether. You see beds actually explode in the nether. You remember that, don't you, Sub? But not just that, but these fiery explosions actually deal more damage than regular TNT. 97 points to be exact. That's a downright death sentence. Number six, suffocation tactics. Another classic, but just like all things in this video, it's a method of pure destruction. Minecraft Pro can't wreck havoc all day, right? He has to take a break at some point, and when he goes AFK, that's the time to strike. Poor Pro, all out in the open. Unfortunately for him, you can have heaps of sand and can block him in and suffocate him using only gravity. This method is effective in two ways. One, it only costs a few blocks of sand. And two, suffocation damage may be small, but if it's not dealt and you're AFK like Pro here, then your health will drain to zero in no time. Maybe they have a shovel on them though. In that case, just place some water by them and a bucket of lava, hopefully capturing them in an obsidian block. A block that, unlike sand, can't be broken out of easily. Hey, like this video for Sub's high IQ plays. We're absolutely killing it on the channel recently. Thank you all for the support. Now let's get back to killing Minecraft Pro. Number 7. Electrified Trap we're getting down to the final few. You may have found it surprising that a creeper hasn't been brought up yet. And while a regular creeper at a point-blank range can really rough you up, an electrified creeper, well, that's a whole other story. Clocking in at 145 damage, an electrified creeper will surely be your end if you're not expecting it. Using a lightning trident, you can make a few of these easily and lure them into a room, maybe pro's room. Leave them waiting, and I'm sure he'll get a good surprise out of it. Number 8. Lava Bucketeer This is a quick one, but as we all know, getting trapped in lava sucks. So always remember to keep a lava bucket handy, so it can suck for someone else instead of you. If none of today's weapons work, then you can pull one of these out and place it on the floor, hopefully setting Pro on fire or at least dealing a bit more damage before you finish the job. Number 9. Crystal Chaos now that end crystals can be crafted, they can also be used as weapons. While players on 2B2T have been doing this for a while, most other players aren't as aware of these. End crystal explosions at a point-blank range will also deal 145 damage, most likely wiping out any enemy you're against with full iron armor or lower. Insane! You can also trigger these crystal explosions from afar by shooting arrows, meaning this is technically the most damage you can do with a bow. 
Number 10, The Bottom Line. It all comes down to this, ironically enough. Because if you want to get the job done right, then there's only one true guarantee in Minecraft, pushing them into the endless gaping void. You see, not even creative mode players can escape this pit of despair below bedrock. When it's possible to go down a few blocks, after a certain pitch black layer, all things begin to take damage and die, with no way escaping. This is the ultimate way to deal the most damage. In fact, even if Pro had infinite health, or was immortal, sticking him down here would one day eventually destroy him, as damage exponentially increases over time, ensuring he never returns to Radar World again. Hey, have you ever pushed your friend into the void? What's the most amount of damage you've ever done in Minecraft? Make sure to tell us in the comments, and shout out any other video ideas you'd like to see done next. All this talk of weapons and fighting sure is making me hungry, sub. I'm gonna go grab some dinner. See you next time.